Hey everybody, this is Tia with Handwritten, and I just want to walk you through the Handwritten Salesforce Lightning Setup. Um, I'm going to just cover the setup in this video, and then in a second video, I'm going to talk about how to send a handwritten note through the platform. So first things first, um, after we've installed the handwritten app to our Salesforce area, um, it's going to ask us to set everything up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually head over to our object manager. So under the setup homepage, um, if you scroll down to objects and fields, there's a little area here called object manager. And what this is, is this is just the area where you're going to start setting up your layout. So for your contacts, for maybe you have salespeople that you want to set up the contact for, this is where you would handle all of that. So we're going to go to the contact page. This is the most, um, you know, the most used page for, for most of our Salesforce users. They want to send handwritten notes directly from the contact to their users. So first things first, I'm actually going to go to where it says page layouts. And then I'm going to contact layout down here. Now you can, anything that you do in contact layout, you can obviously apply to the contact support layout, sales layout, and marketing layout. I'm just going to apply it to the contact layout page um, just because this is the one that I'm going to be using for my handwritten notes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the contact layout page. And this is going to take me to this area where it's got the highlights panel, it's got the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience um, options. So what I'm going to do is I would go to my buttons here. Now you will typically have a send handwritten note button that's going to be um, visible like and more of a raised look like this clean and submit for approval button. Mine is just this way because I've added it to my contact detail area down here under the custom button section. If I want to put it back, I can just click and drag there um, if I no longer want to use it. So that's how you do that. You're just going to click and drag that button and then you're going to drop it into the contact detail area under the custom buttons. For my Salesforce um, Lightning Experience users and mobile users, um, we're also going to add it to this area. And what you guys are going to want to do is for the mobile and lightning actions, there's a little tab right here that you click on. And then you just scroll over to find your send handwritten note button. Again, like I said, um, you can always add this back if you don't need it any anymore. So if you decide that you don't want to use handwritten more, you can always add that button back. Um, but if you're using us for the first time, you are going to want to add this button to the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action area. So um, just a heads up, we do not have any quick action buttons. So you're not gonna see a send handwritten notes button for the quick actions. You're only gonna see one for the mobile lightning experience and the contact detail custom buttons. Now that we've done that, we're going to click on this little button over here on the left that says related lists. Now related lists is the area that's going to 